So, having decided that you want to read the Bible, which version or translation are you going to use? Some people say that you should be using the authorised King James Version because that's sort of the official one, the true one, original or correct one. Well, I don't think that's actually the case, especially because it really isn't an accurate translation anymore. It certainly was once, indeed probably the finest translation available at the time. It certainly has some lovely poetic language, but there are passages that, at the very least, seem today very hard to understand for those of us used to modern English. Put simply, the King James or Authorised Version has language that just doesn't make sense anymore. I'll give you an example from Matthew 6, 34. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Now, many of us might be able to decipher that, but it is an extra unnecessary step where we're in effect having to translate the translation. The phrase simply doesn't mean what it once did. A more modern translation would read, each day has enough trouble of its own. Now, it might be that we just have to put up with that if it was the only valid translation and was somehow spiritually superior to all others, which I don't believe it is. Another idea is that the authorised version is the original Bible. Again, that's not really valid because there are certainly earlier translations than the AV, Wycliffe being one example, and there's no particular reason why we should use that translation unless we choose to. So, if we decided to go elsewhere, which of the more modern translations should we use and how can we get hold of a copy? Well, I'd recommend you choose one you find you get on best with. And a good way of trying out several versions is to go to something like BibleGateway.com and just start reading. Pick a passage, perhaps the beginning of John, which you can search for in Bible Gateway, and having found that, try the different translations. Now, not every English Bible is there, but loads are. Would I recommend any? <clears throat> well, yes. I quite often turn to the NIV, which is quite popular, or the message. They're very different from one another. The New International Version is more traditional, while still being in modern English, whereas the message is particularly freeform. Then there's the easy-to-read version. The ERV is obviously easy to read, or at least that's the idea of it. Or the Good News Translation, which is also designed to be easy. In fact, although the Good News has been seen by many as a children's version, it was intended originally for people whose first language is not English. So if that's you and you want to read in English, then that or the ERV are worth trying out. But turning that on its head, you could start with a children's version as an easy-to-read one, such as the International Children's Bible. Obviously, you can then go out and purchase a paperback or hardback version of the Bible in the translation that you've found suits you well. Whatever you choose, I hope you enjoy exploring this amazing collection of books we call the Bible.